there, I'm Kelly Burner and welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to show you what's in my main pencil case that I'm using at the moment. Um, I do have other pencil cases with different things in. Um, I do have pots of pens and pencils uh, and markers uh, on my desk as well, uh, right here. Um, but this is what I use when I'm use, uh, drawing in my sketchbook. Um, and it's the th it's the pencil case that I take around my flat. So I'll take this down into the kitchen. I might be sitting downstairs in the sitting room with my husband watching a film. And this is the case that I'll take downstairs with me. So I've got everything that I want. This is just a a very um uh, cosmetic bag that I got for for free from Superdrug for buying a bunch of very um bits and pieces bits and bobs um and it's it's perfect it's iridescent which I love I mean the camera is not doing it justice um and I'm gonna call this video I think as a uh, subtitled a study in pink um because some other colors have made their way in to the pencil case but a couple of months ago maybe about six weeks ago I just pulled out mostly the pink things in my art supplies um, because I wanted to mostly just work in one colour. I don't know why. I started drawing loads of pugs and then I was like, how cool would it be if all these pugs were pink? Pink pugs? I don't know. It was a thing. An alliteration thing. I don't know. Um, but I, I've pretty much kept it. I've added a couple of other colours just for pop uh, in, in my sketches. But this, for the most part, is what it looks like. First of all, I've got this... Um, Faber-Castell uh, pencil sharpener, which I actually broke a couple of weeks ago, annoyingly. Um, I've had it for years um, and it does just regular and then it does sort of the colour grip, which is sort of the hexagonal shaped barrels. Um, I believe I think that's correct um, but yeah I, I really like this the only problem is it's quite chunky um, but I, I, I put that in here if I'm taking it downstairs uh, the rest of the time it is actually on my desk but I do make a point to put it in the bag and it does fit perfectly fine um, when I'm going when I'm going downstairs um, so let's just shall I just chuck it all out oh my god chaos oh shit <laughs> oh, extreme close-up um, so let's <laughs> okay first things first i've got a couple of packets packets pads of uh just post-its in a pale pink and a neon pink uh just to cover up stuff that i don't like in my sketchbook or just to write notes on obviously because they are post-it notes uh, i've got my putty eraser which has seen better days i've got to admit um but you know these things last ages oh, <laughs> um and it's uh it's just funnily enough in a pink case i think this case had Actually, I can't remember what this case originally had in it. Again, I've had this for donkey's years, so who knows. Um, but yeah, just just stand. I think it's a Faber-Castell putty eraser. I don't know. I've got one of these little flexi boys uh, for, you know, lines. Um, and then uh, let's have a look. I've got some paint pens. So I've got... Um, paint pink paint pens oh bum there should be another paint pen and I'm not, am i not spotting it i have a hot pink paint oh there it is it's out right there can't see for looking but i have these three paint pens now the sketchbook that i'm currently using which is this really crappy ryman it does not like wet medium and it does not like paint pens and the paper pills and pulls up so i haven't been able to really use these in here unless i'm layering over me a different you know if i'm doing a layered piece it worked fine on the um the art journal spread that i did um over the acrylic paint but yeah otherwise it's it's not they're not happy to just go or draw straight onto the paper annoyingly i'm trying to desperately use this current sketchbook up so i can get a decent one uh but yeah the the the, the um the reward for finishing that sketchbook is to will be an actual decent sketchbook um i have you know the ubiquitous ubiquitous uh jelly roll pen um i did have a one of those pentel ones as well but that dried out i had the wide nib one but so I'm using this one and I'm quite liking it. I've not used these ones before. So that's a 0.8. What else have we got? Uh, let's get together. I'm trying to do like with like. So I've got Byros. I really love Paper Mate Ink Joy. So I've got the sort of the um, triangular shaped. I have these in like purple and green and other colours. But obviously I grabbed the pink one. I, it writes really nicely. I journal with these as well. And then these are my favourite Byros in the world ever. And it's the Papermate Paper 
flexi grip ultra um although not so environmentally friendly unfortunately i should try and find a better better thing uh this mechanical pencil again i have had for so long it's a uni kurotoga uh, 0.5 nib and i think i've currently got an hb in there um i the refills are knocking about somewhere in my my drawer my drawers under my desk i do need to pull them out because i think this is nearly out and this is nearly out as well so i'll nearly i need to pull that out and this is a um fluorescent hang on look i need to look because my pental fluorescent so i had to look with my glasses rather than just through the camera is it gonna is it going to but yeah and this is a 0.5 i believe neon lead um which i really like sketching with this it's not a color uh, eno like this one um the pilot color eno which is meant to be the erasable um mechanical pencil but actually um this works just fine um so yeah i i recommend this and i love this neon i mean the the lead is neon as well as the the pencil being neon um i have the tombow mono razor a razor can i has words um and this one is the 2.3 this is really handy um sometimes when i'm sketching i like to um erase out little patches of paper for highlights and stuff like that that's another fun thing to do when you're just using pencil so yeah this is really handy i think you can get even smaller ones and obviously chunkier ones as well so i thought this was a nice middle sized one to because i'd never used these before but highly recommend um okay let's see again like with like i've got some uh copic chows i have c3 c5 and c7 i do have the a couple of other colors i got them in a set of like grayscale um but most of them have died and i think i threw some of them away before i realized you can i think you can get refill lead uh, leads refill inks for these um so i need to look into that but yeah i really like the this specific set of grays because they're really nice for adding in shading on on sketches marker sketches and shadow um i've got some spectrum noirs i'm not really a massive fan of these i've got a massive box of these oh god that's probably dried out that lid wasn't on properly oh it's not too bad um i got a massive box of these from hobbycraft about three or four years ago um and loads of the colors seem really similar these ones are not which is why they're in here so that i've got some variation and they're alcohol markers i definitely prefer the copic chows and i definitely prefer well this is a lecture set i this is a throwback to my fashion degree days from these i think i've had this from about 1999 or 2000 um you can get refills for these and this is pantone 182t um i've got an, a bunch of these um, these are now Windsor Newton make these now, um, but it's really great because it's got the chunky chisel nib, then it's got the sort of the bullet nib, and then it's got a detail nib. So I used to do a lot of my sort of fashion illustrations with this is a really tiny detail one. So I really like these. I've got a whole bunch of these still left over from yeah my fashion degree, um, and yeah these ones they only have a they have a bullet nib and then they have the chisel tip and yeah i'm not a massive fan of them but i do use them for laying down large swathes of color again if i'm using them on the current sketchbook i have they do bleed through massively um so yeah there is that uh what else i've just got a stabilo of boss original sort of soft bubblegum pink uh highlighter with a chisel tip i do like using highlighters you'll see here i've also i've got another highlighter i've got a stay stay uh, tri plus text surfer and this i really like the size of the nib and it's got a, a little bit of give to it so you can get a bit of a slight br sort of brush marker feel with it which i really enjoy and speaking of tri pluses i have a pink stay tri plus fine liner so you've got the thing really nice with detailing again markers are not faring too well on this sketchbook i've had this sketchbook i'll just show it again <laughs> so you know what i'm talking about uh for several years and the reason i've had it for several years is because i tried working in it and hated the paper and then put it aside and then but actually i, I i'm loath to just throw it away so um yeah i'm torturing myself by making myself finish it and then rewarding myself with maybe a Moleskine Art Plus or maybe a Strathmore sort of mixed media, if I can get a hold of them. 
and I was originally thinking of getting an A5. I usually like working in A5, but I've I've been doing a bit more sort of loose sketching. And actually, I'm like, oh, it might be quite nice to have an A4 as well for sort of bigger. I need more space, essentially. Um, I've got some. Oh, I've got one Stadler. Oh, there we go. I think these are the last two left out of the Stadler um, fine liner pigment liner set that I got. I think I got a, a set of like four or five um and yeah they've just eventually died um i've had them for quite a long time so i've got a 0.1 and a 0.7 left uh, which is quite nice because i actually do quite like having a chonky and a skinny i've got the sharpie ultra fine point uh i must admit i haven't really used this one much um i'm not sure if i like it i think i stole this from my husband's pen pop <laughs> um, and this is just a classic sharpie bullet point just good for filling in uh again larger areas um and then i've got some newer ones so i have these two which is the the tombow fuda how am i gonna i'm gonna absolutely butcher this now fudanasuke which are like a firm brush pen, like a, a plastic brush nib rather than a, a fibre brush nib or a brush brush nib. A brush brush nib? You know what I mean, right? Like you can get brush pens that actually have literal brush 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 brushers bristles holy moly <laughs> um it's late afternoon and i think i need a caffeine boost um so yeah and then they are one is a let me just i need to read which one's which because i can never bloody tell i've only had these since christmas these were present from a friend um meow 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 water-based pigment ink i think these actually yeah, i think they um i can blend these with water with water like bleed them out which is quite nice so it's nice to have some uh permanent markers and then it's also nice to have stuff that you can sort of blend out a little bit it's a mixture holy crap why can i not read which one is firm i literally saw it earlier today it said which one was firm and which one was not firm Wow, this is a really interesting video for you folks, isn't it? Looking at me trying to find out. Oh, here we go. It's in this tiny little box. Oh my god. This is this is the problem. My eyes are not great anymore. Um soft tip and hard tip. For now, for now. Um and then I've got these which I've never tried. My friend ordered me some Faber Castell pit pens. I still haven't tried the Pigra the Pigra holy i probably should have had a cup of tea before i started this video right the pigma microns i still not tried those the sakura ones but i've got we've got an extra small we've got an extra small which is 0.1 we've got a fine which is 0.5 we've got a medium a small sorry which is a 0.3 and a medium which is a 0.7 so um yeah that's the it's weird because when they advertise it they advertise it by like small medium large and i'm like i need the actual measurements folks the small medium large large thing is not really helping um but these are permanent and i am loving these really really enjoying these so yay can recommend um and then i have like a stadler like plastic eraser i think this is one that i nicked from my old job forever ago from the stationery cupboard so i've probably had it at least 11 years um because i left my old job 10 years ago uh yeah i i had a bunch of them <laughs> i was like i'm leaving i'm raiding the the, the the stationery closet sod it um and then pencil wise i've got one of these uh derwent studio rexel cumberland jobs in pink madder lake not amazing not great not that but not terrible i don't think i would I, these were a set that were bought for me in my 20s from for christmas from like my mum or something i think she picked them up in wh smith which is very kind of her but yeah not my bag um and then i've got some that i've had for years which i love 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 and would buy again which are these babies these are the um current dash supra color watercolor pencils and i love them oh hang on i don't think this one's got club excelsior this is a rogue pink pencil club excelsior i could have sworn that this was also a watercolor pencil but i guess i'm lying 
never mind um and then i've got so obviously i've got some other colors just because i wanted to be able to add some shading so i've got a black and i've got uh, a, a brown and a purple it says that it's lilac i mean that's purple that's more lilac than, than than that it's really dark purple i don't know who names these things but yeah so i just got some some darker colors really would recommend these i love these i've been using these pencils not necessarily these specific ones but this brand of pencils for like at least 20 years maybe a bit longer oh god maybe i'm just trying to work out the first i think i was 16 when i got my first set so yeah more than 20 years um and then i've got some i bought a set of the faber castell polychromos because i heard so many th good things about them and actually i do quite like them but i do find that i just got like a set of 12 i think so there's not load there isn't a vast array of colors but they're, they're quite nice to color in with and sketch with so i'm enjoying them and then i got a bit of christmas money so i traded myself to some prisma colors uh, the premier ones i don't know if that means anything i don't know um and i got what was that we got rose neon and lavender see that's lavender yeah um these neons are amazing and then this beautiful chartreuse which looks quite sort of classic yellow under the uh, on the um screen but is actually a very yeah like a really true almost neon chartreuse um, and then this beautiful uh marine aquamarine um so yeah i those are the four colors that i got and i really like these i actually find these more erasable for sketching than these boys these uh color enos i know you can get there's those other erasable pencils and I can't remember who they're by now off the top of my head but I wanted to get one of those to try as well you can get like the one that's blue on one end and red on the other because it's like a for animation and graphic uh, computer um, digital art um, but these these I really like they are very soft so I do notice that I have to sharpen them a lot because the nib the nib the point uh wears down very quickly but i think that's why they're so erasable um so i did some sketching with them earlier today oh, where is it um so I just did some loose sketching and then went over with pen but like it's really really so you can see i pr i pressed really hard it looks like it's got a, uh, <laughs> um so i've pressed quite hard here but you can see here i erased this leg multiple times um and you it's it's not too bad you couldn't really tell that i erased it multiple times compared to the color you know so yeah um and then yeah that's it then that's well yeah that's all the these rolled these these ones rolled back in they're like show us again um but yeah that is what is in currently currently because it does change in my huge pencil case yes i love to i just you know this may or may not have been interesting for you it may have been incredibly boring if that's the case why are you still watching that's just strange you're torturing yourself if you if you have enjoyed this yay awesome sauce uh so yeah i'm just really nosy and i quite enjoy looking in people's pencil cases um so yeah uh that's that's basically it i'm gonna have to put all this back in here now and go make myself a cup of tea to uh, wake myself up a bit because, yeah, this was a little bit of a hot mess. But I'm going to uh, edit it and uh, edit it. I don't think I need to edit it. I'm just going to, like, just throw it up there. And I'll, I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.